streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the Mac on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. What's up, Aquarius? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Aquarius out there are doing well. All right, y'all, got a nice little spirit here, so we're going to get into it and see what messages spirit has for you. If you find that some resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. All right, Aquarius, I feel like you own this daily hamster wheel, okay? You out here hustling. You got to do what you got to do to survive, okay? But I feel like whatever you're doing, baby, you are making money, okay? You out here grinding. Every day you hustling. You got to make it do what it do. Now, you could be meeting with other people about business or there's someone here who wants to meet with you. Now, this could be a meeting with two or more people where someone here wants to plan or they want to discuss something here, okay? Now, we also have someone here is reminiscing. So they're recalling some things back from their past, okay, reminiscing about this connection. You could be doing this too, thinking about, you know, the good times that you and someone here had. But whoever this person is, you guys, this person will be returning into your life, okay? So someone here is thinking about the good times that you had. This could be a male or a feminine energy. You know, but they want to return or they want to make some type of return into your life. But I feel like for some of you, there, there was a tragedy that happened, right? Like, this was this love, this connection that you share with someone, it was more like forbidden. So this means that they could have belonged to somebody else, you could have belonged to somebody else. But I feel like you and this person didn't really get a chance to see what could happen in this connection because this is kind of like forbidden love. This is like, you know, forbidden fruit where you may have taken a little bite. You know, you got to get a little taste of what it was, but it was like you and this person can never truly be together. But this person does adore you, okay? They admire your strength. I feel like for some of you guys, they admire your hustle, how you get your money, out here, how you out here just handling business here, okay? This person adores you, and they love everything about you guys. Now, you can be on a twin flame journey, and we can be talking about your divine counterpart here, okay? Maybe you and this person, like I said, when you connected, you know, you had a connection, you had some type of relationship with this person, but did you get to see it, you know, play out the way that you possibly wanted to, or did you get to see how far this love or this connection can go? I feel like you didn't, okay? And that's why I kind of was like forbidden love, because I feel like someone here already belonged to someone else. Now, we have, I don't like being by myself. So this gives me the energy of someone who needs to take time to heal. You know, this could be someone who may dive in and out of relationships. You know, they may break up with somebody, then two, three days later, you know, they got a new man or a new woman here. You know, so someone here, I feel like they don't like to be by themselves. They don't want to be alone. But it's like they also haven't healed maybe from some things from their past, okay? Right now, I feel like this person is emotionally overwhelmed. Like, they just can't do this. They can't think about these emotions and feelings, but they can't process a lot of things that's going on in their life they can be to having a hard time expressing themselves i really feel like aquarius this person got you on their mind constantly like you stay on this person's mind 24 7 you know but they they don't understand like why do i feel like this why is aquarius always on my mind why am i always thinking about them okay for some of you it's because they obsessed with you okay like this they realize that this connection like maybe you guys can't be together right now but should they obsessed with you? Like, I'm telling you, every time this person turn around, like, they think about you morning, noon, and night. Now, you could be separated from, especially if this is your twin flame journey. You know, you and your partner, you and your divine counterpart could be separated at this time, right? You know, all these emotions and feelings, like I said, it's just too much for this person. But I feel like when they make their return, because remember, I did say this is someone who will be returning. And when they make their return, Aquarius, they hope it's not going to be too late, okay? So for some of you, this person may make their return just like right at the nick of time, you know? But they hope that you haven't moved on. They hope that you ain't out here too successful and grinding too hard to think about you. Because some of you guys, they want to know if they ask you to marry them, what exactly would you say to that Aquarius, okay? So let's see exactly who this reading is about. Because somebody here wants to marry you. But they want to know what would you say. You know, someone here feel like 
once they get it together or, you know, whatever this situation is that your divine counterpart or this past person has going on, you know, once they get this situation together, for some of you, they may have to walk away from a third party because we have forbidden love. You know, it was like this was a love that kind of was forbidden because I feel like someone here belonged to somebody else, okay? Someone here could have been married, you know, or had another man or woman, but you and this person still got a little opportunity, a little snippet of what it could have been, okay? So let's see who this is about. Messages for my Aquarius, okay? So this could be a female that has nice tone legs, okay? So someone who works out. Messages for my Aquarius. All right, you can be dealing with a younger male. Someone who wears a watch. And we also have slanted eyes here, okay? All right, so let's get into the signs. Who is this reading about for my Aquarius? You can be dealing with another Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn. Heavy Leo, Taurus, Capricorn again. <laughs> Messages for Aquarius. Who is this reading about? All right, we got Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.